Okay, it's been probably about a year, well over a year since I made a video. I think it was September of 2018. It was a challenge video, so it was a long time ago. Um, since then, I've been making fairy houses or gnome houses or whatever you want to call them. Lighted, you know, it's just cute little looking like tree trunks or what have you. But um, So I decided, though, to make a large, one large enough to play with for my uh, one of my granddaughters and um, it started out to be obviously about two feet tall and I decided that wasn't big enough so I added another box to the top and um, some other little odds and ends that I had. I'm, I'm using a uh, paper mache clay uh, that I make from funnily enough from toilet paper because it's really nice and it gives it a really nice color. It's better than some of the others I've tried. Um, and then, of course, I'll paint when I get through. I'm trying to add a little bit of lighting to it, what have you, as I go. I've got lots of plants, uh, silk flowers, and things to decorate after I get through. She won't be a year until February, so I have plenty of time to get this done. But I'm going to go ahead and I'll take you on the rest of this journey to get it through. I have photographs of it uh, from the different stages when it started and what have you. So, um, and since somebody said what I should, actually Rose said I should, um, you know, video it or what have you, if not for anything other than my granddaughter being able to watch <laughs> later on the whole process. But um, uh, as you can see, it's using some, it's made with cardboard boxes and there's some masking tape uh, over the, the different um, pieces of aluminum foil. And... Uh, yeah, so pretty much that's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to I'm going to bring y'all along with me, and I'm going to use some of the other text techniques that we have, like I'll uh, make some stained glass windows using resin, because um, I like to use resin, some different things, found objects around the house, what have you. Anyway, so there you have it. There is my fairy house, and then uh, I welcome you to come along with me. Like I said, I'm going to try to get a video up every. Um, once a week at least if the my dogs will let me um so anyway that's it i hope you enjoy thanks okay real quick quick rundown these are just boxes hot glue aluminum foil and the homemade paper mache clay which i built upon and then uh painted and then decided that it wasn't big enough and had to add some more to it but you can see where I thought it was going to be fairy houses and then I have little chipmunks but this is Lily and it's going to be her house if I ever get it done and the final here is just some of my small fairy gnome houses I've been working on lighted houses just cute little decorative houses so anyway Y'all have a blessed day. Thanks. Bye.